Well, hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 24,030, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and you know it, I know it, everybody knows it, make sure you ring that bell. So yes, King's Ruin has been completed. It is the Dragon Day, which I forgot, so we need to take care of this dragon. And yes, it was Hero Seal Day, but we'll get to that. We will get to that in a moment. We have to slay the dragon, conquer the dragon, make the dragon give us some, his stuff. I'm guessing we're at like a truce with the dragon because like he doesn't get any stronger to deny us anymore. So he's just like, look, look it, we're going to have a truce. You're going to come in and you're going to bring your tickets and I'm going to give you stuff and we're just going to call it. And that's just how this is going to be. So just bring your tickets and I'll give you stuff and you just stop beating me up. And I guess that's our truce with the dragon. That's why he keeps giving us stuff. So I guess that kind of makes us the bully in this scenario. But uh, I like to think of it as he was a bad dragon. And now we are. This is his corrective punishment. You know, we are helping him stay on the path of righteousness. We're not bullies. Obviously we're not bullies. We just help him. We're helping him be a better person. And I think we're almost done. Oh, Roderick, how about that? I like that. We're helpers. All right, the dragon is done. Portal has been swept. And yes, like I said, Hero Steel Day. And here we are. Now, we are going to do Total War just a little bit differently. I got a suggestion to try not using Vincent. I'm like, you know, that's a that's a fair suggestion. Especially because Total... Like, the one thing I like most about Total War is there's no... Now, I do think you should have had, like, predefined, like, groups. But as there aren't any predefined groups, which I wish there were... Like, I wish you could kind of slot people into groups. And they were just, like, your Total War group. The, the nice thing is you kind of get to build your group each time. Well, it's not nice, but you have to. So what I was suggested was don't bring Vincent. Which leaves me with an interesting question of who to bring. And I don't remember. Well, I guess there's no way to look. I'm going to go with Leonidas because I think he has a really small uh, area. Actually, wait. No... We'll go with Diego, because he should have a really large area, and he should also have, I mean, a really small area, and he also has a really long cooldown. So we're going to see how this works. This might not work. Well, that was good. Marion already hit the boss for 28% of his damage, so that's good. All right, the boss is on the castle. And the boss is almost dead. So I think this is the... Oh, well, we killed all the archers. Okay, now Marion has decided that the people in the back don't deserve to live. Now the people in the front don't deserve to live. She must be hitting something in the back. Okay. Well, Brian is, is trying to attack him. Well, Marion killed everybody, and now she's on the boss, because you can see the boss's health is actually going down. Uh, that was definitely different, but like I, we don't really need Vincent for that. So that was fun. Oh, right, I was going to try Thor. Thor is another one I was going to try. So if you know, like, if you have a specific hero instead of Vincent you would like to see me try with, let me know. I just picked Diego because I know he has the longest, like, he his ability goes off at the longest cooldown. So, like, he would have the least ability to actually pick anything up. It didn't seem to really matter. Um, but we did get a lot of stuff on the castle that Marion was just like, yeah, what are you guys doing on the castle? So, definitely different. Obviously, it's hard to say if that's better or worse because each one of the stages has a different selection of monsters. But it's nice to see something different. I actually just put Vin Vincent out of, like, habit. Like, come on, Vincent. It's like... How am I not taking Vincent? And the Archer store has been purchased. 
How am I not using you, Vincent? But yeah, so that's a, that's a different take. And I'm not against different, you know, a little, and, and since you have to build it differently every time, you know, you have to build the group every time. I like that a lot more for experimentation. You just have to pick things every time regardless. So that's nice to see. And finally though, how are you doing today? I do hope everything is going well for you. Obviously everything is going great here. Oh, there's Camila. And, uh, We might be trying something different with King's Ruin this week. We'll see. If I do it differently, I'm going to I'm gonna do it the same stages but different. And wow, we got the, uh, the Viking Chicken Daniel. We, we haven't really had much luck here, so it's good to finally see the four stars showing up. I probably just jinxed myself, but they've really been absent the last couple of days. Like, we weren't getting any. And it was like, where are you guys? You guys in hibernation? You hiding from us? Yeah, it was weird. All right, well, that was that. We at least got something today. And, of course, we're on to working on um, Marion. Yes. I thought she had an awakening, but I think I'm just mixing my days up at this point. Now, we are trying to get that elusive crit damage. It has been very elusive. Oh, this is 71. Totally got it wrong. That's fine. We'll go to 71. It's no big deal. It is a huge deal and a great injustice to the people. No, it's not. Knock it off. We should get 71 here in a second. So that just means we have to catch the orb up. And survey says crit damage. Crit damage. That's what I like to see. So now we do have to get five levels on the orb. So that's fine. That's fine. I'm very happy to get that crit damage. Um, if you don't know, you're going to know at the end of this episode why I'm so happy for it. So that's nice. That's very nice to see. All right, now we're at 2568. Now we can awaken. And crit damage again. How about that? A double crit damage. That's extremely generous. Yes, you know I want to see that crit damage. I'm extremely pumped for it. Can never have too much crit damage. And we, you know, the orb has been so good to us. Maybe we'll give the orb a special reward today. We'll see. We will see. And 2571. I don't know about you, but I feel like the orb deserves it. And now my feelings have soured a little bit. We are going to just keep working on the orb. We'll try to get it to 74. This is going to be tough. But I feel like we can do it. We will just catch up the um, 73. I'm going to eat all these little books down here. We'll just catch up the ring tomorrow. It'll be fine. Okay, one away. And it looks like we're going to have just enough. Now we will dismantle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have just a few orbs left over. And we'll crit damage? Nope, dodge. You know what dodge is. We have four left over. So we will just catch the ring up tomorrow. But we did get double crit damage, which is very exciting. And, of course, 113.537 million. And finally, 275,955 crit damage. So we hit that milestone of 270, over 275,000 crit damage. So give Marion a big round of applause. 275k crit damage. That's great. I remember when we were struggling to get to 250, then 255. And now we've just blown that away. So that's great news for Marion. When is it a great news? And, of course, we'll just catch the ring up tomorrow. And, yes, if you're wondering, I knew we were, like, okay on attack, but I was like, eh, we'll just put three levels there. It actually is no big deal. We would have had 113.65 instead. But we'll catch the ring up tomorrow, and we'll be well on our way to 114 
million attack. So that is great news. And of course, with all this fanfare, we have over we we have exceeded our time limit. And so let's see here. I'm going with twenty point eight two seven. And serve I'm not even close. Twenty point eight five six. What is wrong with me? And again, once the castle gets 23 million health, as 22 million-ish health was the amount that it was needed to clear 1210, we will then start leveling Vincent again. Once Vincent is max level, we will go back all in on the castle because at that point, you know, obviously in the near future we'll be working on Vincent. So we will just go in all in on Vincent. Get him up to 20k, and then go back in on uh, pumping the castle as much as possible. It might be that once we get to like 25 million, we might try leveling Daniel or somebody else, but we'll see. We will see, and you know, we'll decide at that point. We have quite a ways to go. So, Marion, 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 Marion. Um, yeah. But, but anyways, once again. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.